Hey everybody, good morning. This is your life coach, Tammy Ward from Embrace Life Boldly. I'm a life coach that deals with transformation, transition, and mindset. And the reason why I started becoming a life coach is because I myself went through so many transitions in my life to help me transform to who I am today. And I've realized that my mission in life has been just to be able to serve others for the greater good. I just wanna be able to have other people understand how to process you know, their emotions, process where they want to go in life, process, you know, and shift the things that they are negatively thinking about. And so this video is just a little technique that I utilize to help me get through whatever emotion I am feeling. And I want to share that with you today because there's something truly powerful in our left brain and our right brain to when we're feeling things and then we're writing it down at the same time, just to help us grasp what it is out there what it is that we're truly, what is the lesson basically that we're trying to learn. So grab your pens, grab your pencils, grab your paper, grab whatever medium you want to use, whatever, you know, sometimes I use index cards. Today I just have like, um, this is basically a, you know, it's usually for, you know, artists. It's just a heavyweight maximum paper where sometimes I use Sharpies and so I don't want it to leak through. And so that's what I utilize. So utilize whatever you want, you know, get comfortable and let's, let's do this. Let's embrace life boldly by figuring out what we're feeling and what we're going through and where it's coming from. All right, let's go. Now, the first thing I do is I always get started with a little bit of Hertz frequency music. Now Hertz frequency music, um, there's so many out there and so many dif different, um, Hertz's that are out there today. I'm doing, um, 852 Hertz, uh, just YouTube. I just Google, you know, Hertz, uh, whatever I'm feeling like today, I wanted to have some self-awareness. I want to be aware of what I was going through. And so I just go into YouTube and I search self-awareness and what came up was a, uh, develop self-awareness, inner guidance in the self. And they're basically like, like, um, binaural beats is really what it is. And, um, so I like to play that because it gets, it won't, I like to do that because sometimes whenever we're going through this process, so many thoughts will come in like, oh, laundry needs to get done, dishes need to get done, I need to take the trash out. And so these hurts help me get into a zone to where I'm just with myself, with my thought, with my inner self feelings and, um, you know, my clarity really. So uh, you can play whatever music you want, rock music, band music, <laughs> whatever you want play it and enjoy. Um, but that's what I like to do first. Now I just want to make sure that that's not too loud where it's not uh, overpowering what I'm saying. All right. So <clears throat> this is the thing. So what I do first is I will make a circle in the middle, right? This is basic example. You can do this, you know, out of three minutes, out of five minutes, it really depends on how long you're searching for whatever it is you're filling. And so today, the main thing that I'm feeling today is I've noticed, I am aware that a lot of my thoughts are bringing me back to my childhood, bringing me back to comparison. Um, as a child, I was always compared with the sibling and, uh, you know, why, why am I much different than that sibling was, or why I was much different, looked different, acted different. My intelligence was different. Everything was really different about both of us. And uh, it's my twin sister. So you can imagine when you're twins, you're supposed to be similar, um, but we were very different on so many different levels. And so I'm going to write into my big thing here is comparison or compare. I think I might break it down to compare. I just really, what I want you guys to do is just really just focus on not putting too much thought into it, just writing down whatever it is you want to write down. So once I have compared down, once I have it in my little circle there, well, it's backwards, but y'all know what I'm saying. Um, once I have that down, I kind of just take three deep breaths in, right? So if you can, let's take some three deep breaths. Um, what I like to do is I like to breathe in four, hold for four and then out for eight. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just really breathing in some high vibrational energy and I'm holding it within me. And then when I breathe out for eight seconds, I just breathe out the word compare. And this allows me to be able to c connect with my higher self and connect with my guides to figure out <clears throat> what is going on and why I need to compress this comparison that I have, right? And where it's all coming from. And so I take three deep breaths, four, hold, four, 
oldu. And out. One more time. Hold for four. Out for eight. Breathe in four. Hold for four. And out eight. And right here, I just really just take in the energy that I'm feeling, making sure that the energy is my own. If it's not, I cut cords, I release, but I just really make sure the energy is my own. And so then I grab my paper and I really just kind of like make marks, right? I just kind of like make marks up and like, what am I compared to? It's like, well, my thoughts earlier today was on childhood. So I'll write childhood up there, right? Um, another one was, um, <clears throat> my life coaching business. So a lot of times I compare myself with other life coaches. And so I'll put that in there, life coaching. Um, I'll go over here and I'll put business plan, right? Cause a lot of times I compare my own business plan with other, other people's business plan. And so that's another thing that I compare. And then I'll make another little lash and just really just kind of like fill in what I'm feeling. And, um, I notice that I compare myself, um, with, healthy people, you know, what I compare myself with other healthy people. What are they doing? What are, the, what are, what are their, what are their news? So I'll put healthy people right there. What, what is it that they're doing? What is it that they're doing that I'm not doing and things like that. And then I'll make another little notch because I really just feel like I'm being compared to my own self. And so I'm comparing my present self with my past self and possibly my future self. And so I'm just going to put compare and then with self. And then I'm just kind of feeling my energy here. And then I'm just going to write down here that I'm comparing myself with the uncertainty, the uncertainty. I'm comparing myself, the uncertainty of where I'm going. And so there you go. I just have all that. And I just have a little circle around and like little tidbits. So what I do after that is I really go into each one. So comparing in my childhood, you know, what brings that up? What is happening there? What, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? Well, you know, I feel, I feel doubt, right? I feel ashamed. Um, comparing my childhood, I feel, you know, unworthy right there. And a lot of that is because I was compared to, um, my sibling, which, you know, put a lot of damage in myself, put a lot of damage in the words that was being told me, put a lot of damage in the definition that other people were giving me. And so after I write that childhood doubt, ashamed, unworthy, you know, I'll break through and I'll ask myself, is that, is that a true statement? So what are my true statements, right? You know, about the doubt. So the comparison of my childhood with the doubt, is it a true story? Um, do I, do I doubt the comparison that I have now in today's, you know, so the true statements are what you feel in this moment, right? In this moment. And so I really don't, I really don't have any doubt that I know I'm different and I'm, I'm happy to be different than my other sibling because, you know, and I'm not even going to say different. I'm going to say unique. I love being unique um, because if we were the same person, then that would be insane. Right. And so I'm loving, so a true statement for me is like, you know what, with comparisons, you know, I just, I feel amazing being unique, you know, so I'll, I'll write that down. You know, the true statement of being ashamed. Am I ashamed for being compared? You know, am I ashamed of what I look like today? What I feel like today, the definition of myself today? It's like, no, because you know, I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior in everything that I've done. I'm a warrior in the things that I've overcome in my life. I'm a warrior for, you know, seeing that, um, I can, I can be unique and I don't have to compare myself to others, you know, cause I am my own and I'm constantly growing in that sense. Now the other one was unworthy. And so unworthy, do I feel unworthy with comparison? You know, actually I did as a child, you know, as a child, there were a lot of times that I just felt completely unworthy that I was not worthy of someone's love. I was not worthy of someone's time. I was not worthy. I mean, shit, I used to be told all the time that people were laughing at me, not with me. So stop thinking I'm so funny. And, and so that really, 
that really was hard for me to be able to make friends and to be able to feel like I can be my true self around those people. You know, I, I spent too many years, you know, being fake and manipulating and lying to these people of who I was because I, knew, I didn't want them to laugh at me. And so I took that unworthiness and that comparison that I had and that developed that definition, that developed that emotion, that developed so many things. But in this moment right now, a true statement is that I don't feel unworthy because I've come into my own, right? I've come into my own. So there's no reason to compare because I've come into my own and I, I am relatable with that. I am, I am comfortable with being uncomfortable. I can have a set of friends and be who I am. And if they don't, if they don't like me or don't want to be in my company, then that's, that's on them, not on me. You know, it's, it's one of those things where you have to look at it in the sense of if you're in a relationship and they're constantly, you know, complaining or correcting or comparing you to other things, then that is not the relationship you need to be in. Whether it be an intimate relationship, a friendship, a family member, whatever it is, you have to find your own worth in that and, and go from there. And so what I do is I do that throughout the whole thing. I write down what I'm feeling. So write down what you're feeling and then write down in the present moment, is that a true statement? You know, that is that feeling. And so by going through that process, you begin to see that what you're doing is you're taking past events and those emotions that you attach to those past events and you're using them for the present moment. Because here this morning, here I was comparing myself to so many things and my mind was going wild. I mean, for, let's see, I was, I was up at six and until this moment right now, which I believe is like, like 830, you know, so for two hours, my mind was going crazy and all these thoughts and all this emotion was burling up inside of me because for two hours I sit here and let my thoughts just cycle and cycle and cycle and cycle. I didn't process them through. I didn't take in the feeling and process them through. And so by doing this little technique, you do that. And look, it's, it's simple. It's just like little words. I'm not writing out whole sentences. I'm just feeling that. And by doing that, by understanding what my true statements are in this present moment, I can see that I don't need to compare myself to anything else. I am unique in the way that I, in the way that I coach in the way that I have a business plan and the way that I am healthy in the way that I love myself. I am unique in that way because if you try and do whatever everybody else is doing for yourself, you're going to get lost in the process. Now, I'm not saying you can't take little tidbits from them, little, little things from them and grow on that for your own self. But what I'm saying is just take in the moment, take in the emotion, work through it. Don't let it just settle inside you and be done. And, and I know that seems like a lot, but really this process that I was talking took what 13 minutes. But when you do that, when you sit down and do it, it really will only take anywhere between three and five, depending how, you know, sure you are and how everything else, but however long it takes, you know, if it takes too long the first time, I guarantee you as you keep practicing and practicing and practicing, it'll make progress and you'll be able to just jot it down within a second or two and understand like, what is my feeling? Where's it coming from? So my feeling was compare. Where's it coming from? My childhood memories. What is it today? Boom, true statements. And that's it. My friends, I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope this serves you and I hope that you're going on. And guys, I have exciting news. Starting March 15th, I'm gonna be doing weekly tidbits by Tammy. Uh, it's gonna be called Tammy's Tidbits. And really it's just kind of like things like this where you will receive an email every week letting you know what some tidbits are on how to personally grow, how to transform, how to transformation and clear and shift that mindset that you've been having for so long. And if you would like to be a part of that mailing list, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that like button, um, hit that like button wherever you're at. And my team and I will reach out to you and get your email address and set everything up. Cause I truly believe that as a community, we need to be able to grow to make the world a better place. The more love we have out there, the more love we have for ourselves, the better life will be. And that is just true and true and true. And that anything that you're manifesting will just come to light after that. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe below, uh, share this with others. If you would like, I would love it. And remember, keep loving, keep growing, and by all means, keep embracing life boldly. Thanks guys.